This is a sleepy cast lost episode. The Drunken Idiocy Hour, featuring Stamper, Spaz Kid, and Nile. My name is Captain Dickhead. I'm not gay, but I've always wanted to push my dickhole up against another man's dickhole and pee into his body. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. All right, so this is propped on the table, so we can't even bump the table. See? Okay. See that? See that? Can't do that. Yeah. Do that. Niall. Watch your big gorilla feet, Corey. I do I have that. big feet? All right, let's have some fun, gentlemen. Niall. Welcome to Sleepy Cast. Yeah. I am here with... Stamper TV. Stamper TV. Corey wait, wait. Spaz Key. Do it again. I interrupted you. Welcome to Sleepy Cast. I'm Niall, and I'm here with Stamper TV. Wait. Uh, it's Stamper TV. And, and Corey Spaz Kid. Corey Spaz Kid. <laughs> yeah, you can just say our names. <laughs> yeah, we're just repeating the names in case they didn't hear it the first time. Sweet, dude. And this is the official cast of just shooting shit. Well, yeah, well, that, that's what that's what it's about. We're going to shoot the shit about random things. We didn't have any topics planned. Actually, yeah, right, right. This we don't actually have first, any fucking topics This is probably the first planned. podcast where we have, like, oh, literally... Shit. Don't no. touch the table, man. Good topic. This is probably talk the first, about first knocking the tables around. <laughs> Let's talk yeah. about touching the table. But this is the first podcast, I think, that we have, like, no, nothing... Pl- we, we we don't even know what we're going to talk about, so this is, like, as We didn't natural. know this is going to be an episode. Yeah, we just sat down and said, let's do a podcast. So this is as natural as This actually guess. hasn't happened until the first episode. Yeah. All right, so here's an idea, gentlemen. Yes. We have a moment of silence, and the first person to have a legitimate topic, just shoot it out, all right? But you have, we have to be quiet for at least 10 seconds to think of a legitimate topic. Corey, not just some random shit yeah, I was gonna off say, the top of your head. I was going to say cinnamon buns, but that is a terrible topic. Okay, let's do the 10 seconds. Like thing. Pillsbury cinnamon f- buns? Th- yeah, that's the first thing it's I came delicious. Up. Pillsbury. Pillsbury. That was Pillsbury. A, that was no, a, we, 10, we gotta seconds. Get to 10 seconds. We're not- <laughs> we'll think of something better than Pils- Pillsbury. Let me, let me All tell right, you. 10 All seconds. right, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Yo, man, I'm still with Pillsbury. Let's talk about Pillsbury. All the thing I was th- thinking about this tent. Hey, okay, so fucking cinnamon buns are good. God damn. <laughs> no, no, let's talk about We're better like, actually like Pillsbury. Like- okay, wait, I got an idea. All right, so it's, it's recently come to my attention that the grand majority of our fan base, probably a good 90 to 95%, are males. So why don't we do a female-oriented show where we talk about female stuff? Well, so we, uh, what do we know about? Okay, period pads. What's your opinion? I don't know. I don't tampons, have one. Tampons, period pads. Stop. Stop. Wait, wait. Are stop. you more of a tampon guy or a period? Stop. Pad? That's insensitive. Stop. What That's is insensitive. Is this a what? Why is that insensitive? Let girls aren't all, wait, let me girls tell you aren't all about periods, Nile. Yeah. I know, but have you ever heard of princesses and, and unicorns? Wait, listen. The, my, my, okay, I just need to defend myself here because I'm not saying that girls are all about periods. I'm saying the only thing to distinguish males and females is a female have a period we, we're all the same we're all one that's my that's okay i defended myself babies come from i butts. think i did something good no. babies <laughs> come from butts now no, so why, men, men have butts. i don't understand why you went on this tangent about tampons when we all know babies come from butts women are strong and, and powerful and individual and when they're in bed <laughs> <laughs> Corey, you game again <laughs> You ruined a sentimental moment. Oh, let's not even get into that shit. Uh, okay, so the female topic. Well, fucking, it's better than cinnamon buns. What's God, okay. dude, whatever. If, if, if this, if we're doing a female-oriented thing, let's talk about females and how they're a. You know what? You know what's uh, the uh, about? You better watch your mouth, man. We can't, I can't. You know what I hate this? about females? Well, I don't know what you're no, we gonna get, about. No, to I was about. gonna say we, we were discussing it, but we were gonna say how. Um, Chicks take forever to get to a point of something when they're on topic about something. Oh, like yeah. they'll beat around the bush till there's no bush left, and it's then they'll finally a... get to the meat. Unless <laughs> some, some of them do have bushes. It's because well, they're, they're, it's it's... they're emotional creatures, man. Well, I understand that, but it's like when when a guy's saying something, it's like you say, a guy's like, "Oh shit, dude, I stubbed my foot today, and it fucking sucked. I like fucked my knee up." And you're like, "Yeah, I understand." Yeah, it's and so then a girl, like a girl would open it up, and she'd be like, "You know." It was, I already was having such a horrible day when I woke up. I woke up knowing that today was going to be horrible because I had to go shopping later. My favorite pen was out of ink, and then I went downstairs, and there was clothes in the dryer, and and then, and then, 
and then. And then you're like, and, and, then, you, and then you stubbed your foot, and you're like, no, the worst part, I forgot my makeup. I had to go back upstairs. You're like, no, you just the started thing, a fucking story over. The thing over. that girls do that I noticed was they, they always talk about, like, people from work. Oh, yeah. Like, I never talk about people from work. Because you don't care. You're like, yeah, I, I go to work. I go, go to, to work, work. I hate those people. I talk about people from work all the time. Fuck Niall, fuck Corey, fuck Chris. <laughs> no, but listen. Fuck Zach. They're not even here, so that must have came from somewhere. You are sitting right there, my dude, friend. Yeah, they're in sleepy land right now. That's true. Zach and Chris are too busy thinking about how to make the D's. They're lost. They're missing out on, on our first woman bashing <laughs> podcast where we're going to get in a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> I like not, girls. We're not woman I like girls. bashing. I like girls. We like lot. girls. Uh, and this is true, too. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be positive oh, girl yeah. podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the girl podcast. Sorry. Right. Oh, let's talk about positive stuff. Tampons. They got titties. Damn it. They got butts. <laughs> and they can fart from their butts, and their titties can jiggle. No, but look, that's what I'm saying. You know the way. What else matters? Wait, Corey. You know the way like pe- girls say girls don't fart. Girls fart. Yeah, they fart twice as much because they can fart from two more holes than we can. Oh my God! Now shut up. No one You know it's true, Amber. You know it's true. And they come because their orgasms are more exciting. <laughs> what? <laughs> they they are. They got multiple fucking orgasms. I don't even dude. know. I'm so sorry. I started this topic. You know when you're like Our one female fan. I have a question. She for, doesn't. Fart. I have a question for all you you breastfeeding girls out there. It's not gonna like this. <laughs> let me fi- let me finish uh, that thought. Wait wait wait. So, okay so no, like God no now it's all men. All right, wait, I have wait, a question. Wait. Our demographic first of all is uh, mostly males right? And, okay. Strong males with yeah. big dicks. And then and then there's some <laughs> then there's some females. Okay so what ratio like that de- de- of the demographic of big dicks. pregnant lactating women do we have? I think it is literally zero. If you're That's pre- not true. Really? Yeah I had a guy. I say like point like seven to yeah, point seven. Point, point seven. And you yeah. know who you are. We're looking at you. We're looking at you. She's lactating right now. <laughs> Do you know men can lactate? Yeah. I only found that out the other day. That's true. Like, did, don't tell me you didn't try it when you found that, that out. Though. You know what that also means? Men what? can get breast cancer too. It's fucked up. Yeah, that, I, I was yeah. I was actually, I know it's really stupid, but I actually thought I had breast cancer because my nipples were like chafing and I'm like, this isn't normal. Why is this one breast ch- <laughs> chafing? And then I found out later, it's probably because I fucking slept like this and it just ripped it while I was asleep. No, it's, it's breast cancer. It's probably breast cancer. But I checked today and they're evenly sized titties now. That's that's terrible. Like if a man- What the man, hell are you talking about? It's an important female conversation. If a man has breast cancer, it's not only like embarrassing and it shouldn't be, but like, okay, so you, you have to deal with having cancer, but then you have to deal with like telling your friends you have breast cancer. There's no doubt they're laughing. That's yeah, fucking that, sucks. that is sucks. Oh yeah, every time that happens, I, dudes are probably like, sucks man, I have cancer. And they're like, you have cancer? What kind of cancer? And you're like, it's, I, I have can I just yeah. have cancer. I'd like to think yeah, I'd be like, you, you I have breast really, cancer and I'm not ashamed of it. Laugh, but I'd probably dude, be they're like, gonna be like, you got titty cancer, you fucking nerd. Yeah. They're gonna push you over. I'd probably say like, steal your money. I know. I'd like to say. I don't that, think they call you a nerd. <laughs> you got titty cancer, fucking nerd. <laughs> I'd like to think that I would say, steal your wallet. <laughs> I'd like to think that'd be a spokesperson for men with breast cancer and make it like you know put put no, it on the I, front lines. No, but it's I not would a say, laughing matter. Breast cancer is not funny, but it's the concept of breast cancer that's funny. It's funny with the idea. Anything can be funny. It's funny that idea would be like, guys, I have breast cancer. Like, you couldn't even get dick cancer. You had to get fucking breast cancer. <laughs> if I had girls have breasts. <laughs> if I had breast cancer, I'd like to think that I would say, yeah, I have breast cancer, and just be like a spokesman for men Maybe. with breast cancer. Make it not embarrassing, but I know I'd say like, you have like nut cancer. Oh, you mean like the first guy that say, like steps up as a spokesman say, yeah, for, like, I for premature breast. ejaculation? Yeah, like or if, Ar- if like, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hey, it happens to me. <laughs> like, I don't mean to be mean, but if Arnold Schwarzenegger got like breast, breast cancer. <laughs> And people will be like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm already laughing at the concept. I know it's fucked I know, up. But exactly. It's like, I have blood cancer. <laughs> it's like, Yeah, you played a chick at one point. What was that, Junior? He played a chick? Didn't he play a, a guy who had a baby? Yeah, but he wasn't a chick. He was just a guy who had a baby. Really? He was a he was a man that had a baby. Well, I was always confused with that. Like, did he push the baby out of his ass? Was he pretty? Wasn't that a oh yeah? He had to have a C-section. I guess. Corey said that babies come out of butts. That's true. That is true. Did you Corey. not forget what I said? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but look, gentlemen, it is mo- it is uh, Movember. November. Uh, it's it's uh, it men- is Movember. It is Men Testoc- Testicular uh, Awareness Month. Is it really? Yeah, it actually. I swear to God, it is this month. It's also yesterday. it's also a national so this holiday gives a good, where we celebrate. This the gives a good talk to talk about like uh, you know what we're talking about. I think it's a good vaginas, vaginas, girls all, naked, all fucking? things girl, all things Titties. female, all things female, misogynistic yeah. themes. Yeah. 
Well, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Back up there. One, one or two. One or two teams there. <laughs> Corey? Dude, I'm not insensitive. I'm just horny. Uh, sweet. Yes. I'm both insensitive and horny. Let me tell you something, all right? If there's one thing when I play a game, the girl better have titties, and they better be re real realable. Gamergate! <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna say that anything that's like slightly misogynistic? No, it's like a- it's like pro- pro negative reversal Gamergate. It's like, you know- Oh, I see what you Gamergate! Mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamergate! Yeah, hey, <laughs> you know? get on board! Yeah, it's all inflection. Dude, it's true! Yeah. Say, say it again, say, when I play a game- When I play a game, there better be butts and titties- Gamergate! <laughs> yeah. Or titties and butts. Gamergate! Titties and butts. Gamer. Titties and ass. Game. <laughs> But titties, <laughs> gamer, titties, skate, gamer, game, but, gamer, 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 Sweet dude, gamer, game. <laughs> yeah. All right, so girls, <laughs> you, <laughs> you misogynist. <laughs> Whatever. Let me tell. Let me tell you the pros about girls. Okay, they always cheer me up when I'm feeling blue. They smell nice. Yeah. They do smell fucking divine. Guys um, can smell nice too. That's not no, fair. No, 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 not not the way a girl smells nice. Yeah. That's not true. There's girly guys, you can't- Well, no, no, there's guys that do smell nice, but it's like, yeah, he smells good. But then if this girl walks by, you're just like, ah, yeah, it's comforting. That's- no, I can go both ways, dude, I'm telling you. So you- you can get comforted? You gotta open your mind and open your pee hole. Can I've you never dropped my guard around a guy that smelled nice. I've never been like, oh, yeah, do you, I, do I you want, love to- Do you want, to, like, a guy to hold you if he smells nice to you? What if he's hot? Hold me? Well, well, oh yeah, well, I forgot, I, I don't really swing that Yeah, way. okay. That's fair, though. Exactly. I agree. I agree. So we can swing both ways. Am I in the minority here? Well, you're... that you're not that you're not fucking both guys and girls. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. <laughs> if that's the minority, wow. you know. You fucking un unheaded, open-eyed, idiot, b bigoted, retard, <laughs> dopey-eyed, dork nerd, faggot, womanizer. <laughs> Jesus sound like a, <laughs> Sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh dragon Corey or something. <laughs> <laughs> Blue-eyes, <laughs> white womanizer, <laughs> Gamergate. <laughs> <laughs> it comes outside and it's like, misogyny, 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 misogyny. That's that's how the vast majority is a feminist view, guys. This is a fucked up podcast. We're gonna get crucified for this one. Yeah, honest, honest truthful, is policy in this podcast. Honesty, truthful, and truthful and honest. I support Gamer honesty, Gate. even if they're wrong in my eyes. I still, I, su I still support no, you, the you, idea of honesty. If someone that you know for a hundred percent fact is wrong, but they're being honest, they hundred percent true. I don't know if we, can, right. we should dive. You can't fault them. Is, can't if fault we're them. diving into the topic of like the whole like concept of Gamergate, originally Gamergate was. Good. I don't want to talk about Gamergate. Yeah. No. I, no. I think that should be just a Gamergate. No, no You're zone. digging into Gamergate. He's gotten horny. Wrong. He wants a little bit of Wrong. Meat. meat sick. Anita Sarkeesian should go down on her knees. We are not diving uh, into Anita Sartesia. <laughs> Fuck that D. It's not even her name. Anita down on her knees <laughs> That's what he meant to say. Ha ha! Anita down on her knees -ian. How marvelously humorous. Sweet dude. <laughs> Alright, no, real topic. Nile topic. Do you ever see like deformed people like in fucking on the street, but like you don't want to look at them? Like Rotten.com. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. But you like look away. Like your mama. No, no. But you don't just see Rotten.com. They had that partner section. Oh, in 1996. But when you I know what I'm talking about, I know exactly oh what you're talking God. about. I found Rotten.com by accident. I was like. Oh, if you type in a word and then put .com at the end, it's more than likely a really? place. Really? Oh, that's upsetting. And then I was like, rotten.com. <laughs> and it was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Oopsie. I learned about the internet real quick. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me too. It was like, you know, ever see like, do you Dude, remember the blonde rotten album? Rotten.com, rotten if you sign up, it's like $12 for a membership. You can get the craziest freak show shit. You got a membership to you Rotten? You can. I didn't. I, I I took the free tour. Liar! I took the free tour on the cheap bus, and I fucking went through three pages till they closed it down. It's like, all right, creepo, fucking make a partnership. You can see the rest of the goods. But I I took that free tour, and I was like, this is weird and uncomfortably hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it closed me out before I could get into it. Sweet. But yeah, if we're talking about free shows, you know what? I've never seen porn wise. You know, like those. I was gonna I was gonna be rude and say bitches. You know those. Polite females who have their fucking heads sewed together. Yeah. Have you ever seen them fuck? 
No, but I've seen them giving a beat blowjob. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you know when like two girls had like conjoined as Yeah, at yeah, did you see the girl oh, by the head? Yeah, yeah or like these... something like that. Have you ever seen them have sex? They have like a wiener bounce from their mouths like back. Yeah, have you I ever saw... seen that? There was this Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. There were these two blonde uh, conjoined twins and uh, they were on like fucking Oprah and shit and they were like these nice they were normal so American you know what I'm talking and, about. and normal American teenagers but the uh, photo leaked of them giving some dude head. That's cool. Yeah, and like it was just weird. weird. It was so fucking bizarre. But you don't see that. Like when I'm looking at porn, I'm not like well, Siamese conjoined twins sucking <laughs> dick. I'm just like titties. <laughs> yeah. A uh, nice butt. Butthole. <laughs> butthole. Spread <laughs> butthole. Spread butthole. Search, search. Okay, we're all butt guys here, right? Yeah, we're butt guys. We're all butt guys. I would if if there was a Siamese twin. And if she was conjoined at the head and they were turning around... What if she had two butts? The, the, the let's call two this, perfect butts? Yeah, let's call, let's call this butts. the misogyny episode. <laughs> yeah. So first we bash women and then we talk about their asses and what we like about their asses. The following podcast is a parody. Yeah, should not I, be taken I, seriously. I, I, what, not under the views of Sleepy Cabin or Sleepy Cabin Dude, affiliates. Whatever. This is completely taken against Sleepy Cabin, okay? <laughs> there, that is a fucking bullshit because there is nice guy asses just like there's nice girl asses. That's well, true. Okay. Well, look, That's true. You the gotta look... You, you know what? Here's the thing you need think of when you flip a quarter there's two fucking sides there's not one side you see the head or tails mm -hmm. but it's the same fucking thing no 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 Corey, I Preach actually know it, what you brother. Mean. like okay if someone showed a guy ass right a nice guy ass and they kind of photoshopped out the balls and the dick and you told me that was a girl ass I'd be like kind of photoshop I hope they fully photoshopped yeah. <laughs> oh yeah well unless they photoshopped the kind of until there's a little bit of a slit left or something yeah but uh and they said that's that's a girl but I'll be like oh yeah and it's like, just and kidding, that's, idiot. That's a, that's a that makes boy. you I'd gay. Like, you gotta fuck. tell your dad now and get beat. Everyone, everyone has looked at someone from behind when they're driving by and go, oh, yeah. And then they turn around and he has a big beard. Everyone has done that. Yeah, but then I, I'm probably in my mind going to jerk off. Yeah, later. but you're still going to be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that's the difference. I'm going to think about the plump butt I just saw. I'm not going to think about the uh, hairy bear that was connected to it. Yeah. Yeah, Niall. Well, no, I, I, hey, the, why are you taking me? I'm trying to understand your point. Just be, like, Here's I don't another, necessarily, it doesn't, you know. Here's another thing that confuses me. You were the one that said that every now and again you might see a she male and you say, oh, wow, she's hot. But then when Dude, you see the wiener. Dude, she can be fucking hot. And when you see the wiener, they you're are. like, well, I can't take back Whoever, what I saw. If there's a fucking beautiful girl and she happens to have a dick and a guy says that she's not fucking hot, they're bullshitting, right? They are. That is bullshit. They might just it's not just, like the dick, I don't, but I don't they, like the they dick. still like this. Yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. I just, you know, it's just a dick and balls. It's like... Niall, I have a question. Have you ever seen somebody... You know, like, those girls who get those, like, fucking dildos that have, like, two prongs? One for the ass and one for oh, the Oh, the, the, the jackrabbits. I don't know how I know that. Have you ever seen a dick like that? <laughs> Uh, have no. you ever seen porn with that? You no. mean like a real wiener? I have at one point in my life. The I guy remember. has like two wieners. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah it's got two wieners. He has two big wieners. wieners too. Head. He has two big fat wieners. It, no, it, it was kind of small. He's throwing all the big wieners. It was small. Yeah. It was like a pinky connected to a dick, but it was still like for the ass. But was it like a pinky finger? Did it have a, no, a it, nail on it? It, it had it had all the dick accessories, but it was just <laughs> connecting out the side. Yeah, a little tiny pair of balls and everything. No, it was just the head. It was like the shaft hole. Sweet dude. And he was like. Like, she was like, oh, let me suck on your pinky dick. And then she was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder, I've seen it, but it's like so forever he, he burning shoots like a head. big load out of his main one and then a little tiny, like, <laughs> out of his little one. Yeah, just yeah. a cute little bubble. Just like, uh, yeah, like little bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah, make the noise too. Like, if you, you'd imagine if you tried to get the hole where the jizz would come out, it would like explode the tip of it like a firecracker that didn't go off right. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an important thing to remember when you have two dicks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come appropriately. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Sweet, dude. Yes. Yeah. Can you think of any other, like... What do you, I, do you I think, do you think every time he jerks off... Show. Think every time he jerks off, he accidentally gets something in his eye as well, and he's like, oh, God damn it. It's like... Oh, like he forgets he has a second yeah, leader? Yeah, no, he's and... probably used to it. Yeah. Isn't there, like, a vegetable that has, like, two heads? Like a ginseng root? Yes. <laughs> I think... Oh, they just look like two dicks. Well, they I just thought they were like two legs. I do you were right. Yes! But each to their own, I guess. But if we're going to talk about freaks... That guy's dick look like a ginseng Let's root. talk about the biggest freak of them all. Oh, I don't think he wants us to talk about this. You just him in the face. Uh, it's one time I like walked into you when you were sitting down peeing in the bathroom. Yeah. Eating like a cookie <laughs> from Wawa or something. <laughs> I swear to God, you got up and you had some like fucking like skin tag or something on your ass. It was really long. It was like a loose skin tag. That was his balls, dude. No, no I swear to God, it was like a, it was like a tag you get on the back of your shirt. I'm not even fucking kidding. But it was a it was, it was like a fucking huge one, like a stem, like where a fucking tail used to be. Was it near my anus? And it was an area near there, yeah. 
Yeah. It was poop hanging out, Corey. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Because it was peach color. Do you dye your fucking poop? Dude, no. no. He just eats a lot of peaches. When I poop, it never comes out all the way. I push and I push. No, that was connected to your fucking... I have to grab the poop mm. with my hand and pull it the rest of the way out and drop it in the toilet. Dude, your fucking spinal cord. I can see your goddamn spine. Oh, that's my tail. Yeah. It's my tail. You have one. Yeah, I have I a tail. I was fucking wondering that. <laughs> hey, you, you, you freak show? See, everyone's a little bit of a freak. Just look around your body. You know about this uh, for the podcast. Oh, listeners. yeah. That's actually, what is that? It's just pinky. Do you know about that? Did, did I tell you about that? No. When I was, this is true. I swear to God, this Dude, is that, true. Dude, that looks like an, a second protruding finger. Do you have? That's what it is. Are you serious? Yeah, when I was in my mom's wound, it, or womb, sorry. Uh, it, uh, Same wound, difference. Yeah, wound as well. But uh, I uh, was growing like six fingers and it stopped growing for some reason. Yeah, you got a little baby finger. It's called polydactyly. I, I swear to God, it's real. I have actual like... Like cave carvings in my ass. Yeah, but dude, someone will have, have to actually like go to your ass and carve those. You, no, I, it's not like yeah, actual, in like 13 not, BC. No, yeah, it's, it's not like cavemen. fucking BC cave carvings that you that you see in like cartoons and shit. It's like carvings, like alien carvings and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't talk about it because it's stupid. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, I got carved does your, in does, the ass by aliens. If you walk by a magnet, they pulled my anus you, out, line rolled it out. If like you a walk, if you walk by a magnet, magnet, does your does your butthole hurt a little bit? Um, no, but I used to fuck CD cases, like Wait, the what? big sticks that you stick CDs in, I used to ride those when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I fucked uh, the toilet paper, um, holders. I tried to put a banana in my ass, but it, it squished and shit and fucking <laughs> I couldn't fit it all the way in and it squished halfway Dude, that's through. why you wear a con- you put a condom on the banana and I tried it. to lick the tip of my finger, but it didn't do much. How many Sharpies can you fit in your anus? I could fit a magic marker in my anus. Whoa, dude, that's- that's the next level. I fit a purple magic- And it disappears magic- like Houdini. I put a purple magic, magic. marker in my you anus and magic I, I tried to shoot it out like I saw all those girls doing the pornos. The ping pongs. I tried to shoot it out. Do you know they have vagina ping pong fucking- I went, uh, Like, uh, championships. I, I thought moving your legs or creating tension would shoot it out, but it just sort of went more farther in. <laughs> and, I, and I pulled it out and the fucking cap went off, so it's, I had to like use... It's still in there to this day. <laughs> That's... I have like all these weird markings in my ass. Sweet. Probably infections. Sweet. <laughs> cool, dude. No! Let's let's talk about the stuff we put in our asses, because I know everyone's experimented with putting stuff in their ass when they were young. I tried to fuck a CD case with a black bag. Oh, uh, that was true. That's true. I, <laughs> I tried uh, to put a banana in my ass with, with normal, and then I tried to put a banana in my ass with coconut oil. <laughs> To no prevail. <laughs> to, well, like the banana is gonna squish. Well, yeah, that's why you freeze the banana, put a condom on it, and then put it in your ass. What? Isn't it cold? Yes, but it adds to the stimulation. Now, if you put a cold banana on your anus, it'll stick to it and rip the rims of your ass apart. That's a that's actually an urban myth. That doesn't. Happen. That's actually an urban truth. No, because I, I no, did no, no. the same thing. It's not. It's and it ripped his anus apart. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna I sit here and eat tag. popcorn. You guys keep going. Snappers, that would happen Stamper, to you. Talk like about the things. In your ass. Stamper, this isn't fair. Talk about the things you put in your ass when you were a kid. Butt plugs. That you didn't put that in when you were a kid. You didn't even know what. A oh, butt you mean plug. when I was a when kid? When you were a kid, when you were no, experimenting. He's not talking about yesterday. Of anal. <laughs> <laughs> the fruits of anal. <laughs> not when I was a kid. I never put anything in my ass. You had to put something in your ass. My finger. Yeah, but you had to experiment. You had to like take your fucking like bed sheets and like create like. Different kinds of cot tubs to fucking use. <laughs> I didn't put things in my ass until like four years ago, and it's great. It's great. Is that true? Mm-hmm. I was old enough to buy sex toys. I bought lots and lots of sex toys. I put so much stuff up my ass. Some stuff is still up there. <laughs> Do you ever see those uh, butt plugs that are like in the shape of a fist? No. Yeah. I yeah. Oh yeah. Did you ever I try used that? to go. No, they're too big. I was afraid like my parents oh, would walk into me while I was putting stuff in my ass. So I used to go out in the backyard on a lawn chair <laughs> and finger myself with instruments that I found around the house that were blood. <laughs> Sweet what, dude, what like a, you're uh, gonna get crucified for this podcast. <laughs> what about a hedge clipper? So what's the biggest thing you fit, fit in your ass apart from your dad's dick? My dad's dick? I never put my dad's dick. No, he put it in yeah, there. Yeah, he put it in. F- Freddie Mercury? Yeah. Freddie Mercury? Mercury. I can't say Mercury normal. Oh wait, here's yeah, here's something interesting, Corey. Say egg. Egg. <laughs> say egg. 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 What? Egg. What? Egg. Egg. What limb makes you walk? Legs. Yeah, you say legs. Too. Legs. Legs. I know a guy named Fred. What's his name? Fred. Eggs. 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 Eggs.
eggs. Corey says eggs for eggs. I say mercury too for mercury. 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 You're adding like four syllables. <laughs> mercury. 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 What can you say that's weird? I remember I couldn't say that word. I can't remember what it is. Oh, anonymity. That doesn't count. That's hard. Say a real word that people say every day. Well, I'm Irish, so I say words that you say guys pickle. Pickle. Say Peter Piper, Piker, pick a pack of pickle packers, and Peter Piper. Do you want me to say that, or do you want me to say the actual one? <laughs> what did Peter Piper blow? Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, if Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, Peter 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 picked. Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper. Say something. Me? Yeah. Say penis. Penis. Say penis. 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 Sweet dude. Oh, so, uh, so we talked about freak shows and we talked about girls. If you're getting like kegs of beer, what would you call them? Kegs? Kegs. I can't say A for E. I say E for no, you say anything E. If you can think of a word that goes E or E, I go E. Then you go A. E. E. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's eggs or E, anything, I'm going to say E like a fucking Canadian. Let's go outside, E. Yeah. I'm Canadian, E. <laughs> That's I was born in the Alps, eh? Alright, it's, it's time for the rapid fire question round. Go! I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you both questions and you have to answer them as fast as you can without thinking. Go! Uh, Corey, the first video game console you ever bought that you regretted? So, uh, the PlayStation. The PlayStation 1? Yeah, because I didn't have any- I just had shitty golf games. Oh, okay. Uh, Nile, uh, the clothing company you absolutely despise. Fucking Diesel. Diesel? Yeah. They got good watches and jeans and shoes Those and shit. sons of bitches. And PlayStation had Symphony of the Night, man. I had fucking stupid ass sports games, okay? You don't have the same experiences. Just because you have a console and you're like- I getting a console. I had a regret. My first time I got a PlayStation, I got a bunch of shitty games. Then my friends had a PlayStation, they had a bunch of good games. But my console fucking sucked. That's fair. Mm. Because you're only as good as your games. Exactly. The but I still like the PlayStation, it's just it was the worst purchase at the time. Because it was my first one. Current man crush. Uh, Hugh Jackman. Yeah, I think that, 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 that's a given for everybody. Oh, you, you want a different one? No, 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 that, that, was, that was a good one, that was a solid answer, Hugh Jackman. Men that you find very attractive, go. Uh, this is the gayest podcast ever. But, no, uh, it's not. Uh... Genuinely handsome men. Genuinely handsome men. Uh, let me think. I'll come back to you in that one. If you had a bag of quarters some. and then you had 10 cents. I'm just going to sprinkle them throughout this episode as I remember them. I'm going to think about men this whole thing. Nile. Hundreds of them. Now, a train leaves to go to Nevada and then another train leaves five minutes later. And then that train goes five times faster. Will they arrive at the same time? No. Yes. No, they won't because he left five minutes later. The other one's going five times faster. Well, it depends on what speed they're going, but He's like, going the same speed because he left five times faster. Where are faster. they leaving from to go to Nevada? That's I read that on the back of... A Snapple fucking, <laughs> like, cap. Yes, and I still remember it because it blew my mind. In a Actually, rapper. it was on the back of, like, some fucking Irish food or something. It was, like, on some, like, Tato's, like, onion chips or some shit. Oh, yeah, we got Tato's. Yeah, that's... You know about Tato's? Yeah, they had a math riddle and I failed it. So if I didn't yeah, Ireland's not the only place that has potatoes. Okay. Potatoes! It's a brand. First of, of all, if we're talking chip. about Ireland and those potatoes, those things tasted like the the fucking cornstarch thing packaging things that were from the, the 80s. Okay, potatoes are the very first crisp or potato chip as they, you guys call them. Those are not the crisps. Those are those things you fucking package food in. You know those fucking things that they're poisonous now? But stop! Stop! You stop! Eat stop, them? stop! Who's that guy that played Magneto in the new X Men movies? Oh, Magneto. Yeah, he was sexy. Yeah, he's fucking hot. Wait, wait, wait. I don't they, know who that is. No, I do know who that is. Listen, I don't know. It, if I find them sexy, fucking, I'm usually looking at them from behind. Uh, yeah, I feel you there. <laughs> they feel me. <laughs> Dang, I can't remember his name, but we need another topic. He's in a ton of stuff. What? We should have wrote down topics before we. That started. new X Men movie was pretty good, though. It was all right. I, well, it was the only X Men movie I've seen. His he's got like a German name. Oh. Wesley Snipes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's like the scary black man. Roger Ebert. <laughs> no. Uh, 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 Richard Taylor. Ron Paul. Yes. <laughs> Max Payne. Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. I told you. He's Irish, by the way. I would I let him you. kiss me on the mouth, son. That man is handsome. He's got a smile that just won't quit. I bet he's got a dick that just won't quit. He's got a butt that won't go on retirement. Snapper calls him Michael Assbender because he wants to bend him over and fuck him in the ass. <laughs> Michael Fassbender. 
Oh, we need to dive into shit, man. I can't think. I can't we're think. all fucking tired. I think I'm not tired. I just can't I can, think of considering topics. how tired we are, we're doing okay. It's all look, dude. We could we could sit here and I talk want about. Burr. I want some burr. We could sit here and talk about. We ain't got no burr. You don't have any hand about burr. We're all out. No, it's fine. You don't need it. What are we gonna talk about? What are we gonna talk about? Uh. All right. So, anyways. Me and Niall and Corey went to uh went went out for a Mexican food tonight. It's true. We went to a Mexican place and didn't order any Mexican food. We just drank a lot of beer and had some bomb ass chicken wings. That's true. And you can never go wrong with chicken wings. But we did get to the topic of tipping towards the end. Oh yes. Oh tipping. And this is something that like growing up, my my mother was always in the field of Waitress. She's always been a waitress. She was a waitress for about eight years of and her life. And she's got big ass titties too. That's the main yes. thing. Yes, but the thing is, like, my mom always taught me, like, what's the actual thing you're supposed to tip? Like, twelve percent? I think it's fifteen. Fifteen. My mom problem. said you should always tip five or ten percent more because you think about the concept of tipping. It's like, what if someone's having a shitty day and they're always expecting to get under the table tips, and then you give them that. 15 to 20 percent that's them coming back to the work being like you know i got tipped like 20 bucks yesterday and everyone else gave me like four dollars i love and it's people. like knowing that i did that lets me know that i'm a good worker and it's like even if it's like it, and it's shitty because sometimes you go to places and you can't tip and you really want to so you it's good to just do what you can and i know in like britain and stuff you don't tip it's like fucking unheard of like bringing up yeah it's like you it's like you did a skeletons. good job and everything you've been working for like you yeah it, it pays off in the end the one thing i i don't understand is two things one where like tonight was a perfect example uh we were seated by one person a uh, waitress came up another waitress came over a different guy brought her food yeah. out so it's like four or four Five people waited on our table, and when we get the bill at the end, we're like, "Who the fuck are we tipping?" Because two of those people were fucking assholes. One of them <laughs> was, was really was cool, forever. and then one of them was really cool. So it's yeah, like, one of them was. I like, hope she gets the fucking money. One of them came up and was like condescending to the choices we made. It's like, are you fucking serious? We come here and buy your food. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he came you're over telling and he us goes, our choices are fucking like, oh, you, 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 you we got, save we, more money. We got it's like, four what are you, a fucking car insurance. Dealer? We got four plates. Fuck you. We got four fucking plates of wings, but we got the small wings. But there's still plenty. Dude, I swear and to God, goes, you should have got large. I, I swear away. to God. Yeah, I swear to God, it was in a fucking Geico commercial. The way we wanted the different that. flavors. That's yeah. all. It had yeah, like, they have like nine different flavors of fucking wings I, I, there. I wasn't we thinking. One of I each. wasn't thinking. Geez, can we have 48 wings or can we just experience the fucking jelly beans of all? I was gonna be like, uh, once you, uh, I just got four different uh, flavors of fuck off, <laughs> and then I, and then I didn't fingers. do if it. If he would have said that, he would have been like. Boys, take care of this nuisance. They come in with bats. Nobody cares about the damn waitresses. They come in with bats and snakes with rattles on their back and beat you to death with them. Oh, and two, the other <laughs> thing I don't understand is when um, they have like the global tip jar where like regardless of who's doing what, all your tip money goes into one global jar that they split at the end of the night. Yeah. Oh, really? I, I don't like that. I, I go to like Dunkin's like every day and there's like three tip jars and I'm just like, well, well I, that's like Dunkin' Donuts. But I'm like, this there's, register. there's legitimate restaurants where all the waitresses turn their tips in and then at the end of the night they just split it equally. Yeah. Which I get the concept of, but it's like, that bitch over there is a miserable asshole that's treating everyone like shit and she's over here trying really fucking hard to do a good job and she had a fucking terrible day and despite all that, she deserves the money, you know? That's it's true. And it's like, remember that one time you went to Outback and you can definitely tell the experience people are going through. You can see it on their face. You can see if they're having a shitty day because the ones who are humble and trying to be there for you are trying their hardest to be there for you. And the people who are assholes and come by maybe one to give you water and never check back again clearly don't care they're just they're just like oh it's just a job but the ones who actually care will go the extra mile to care and that's why you tip and you know what's funny is we went back there when you weren't there and she was like oh you guys were the guy yeah. people who fucking were handsome Stamper. amazing people but it was Stamper that did the again. tipping I remember we, we that gave day her like a, a you did I don't know if you want me to say this but you did the thing that wait, like a we, true hero would do you didn't tell anybody that you gave a huge tip but I saw that I saw how much it made her day Yeah, I looked over 
over and uh, Stamper just kind of gave her the handshake and gave her, I don't know how much he gave her, but she went, she was like, a million dollars. She just looked at you and she goes, <laughs> oh my God, thanks. Dude, she's got bags under her eyes. Yeah, she was Hanging tired. down to her titties. She probably she has is to go so back. tired. She probably has to go back to her kids. She definitely is. You can tell she's a mom day, too, yeah. Fucking smashing pots together, watching Dora and Diego all yeah. night. That yeah. woman is Miserable. She needs all the. She doesn't even need money. She just needs a fucking hug. That's all she needs yeah. from this cruel, ruthless life. Is she that literally she's living. She looked like she was cosplaying as a gothic model because her fucking eyes were so dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was. She was just tired. It man. was. It was like a, a Tim Burton tryout. That's we were, like realistically tired. And yeah. that's not. And that's not even like the thing. But the yeah. thing is, she tried her hardest. She was still smiling and, you know and is, nice as fuck. You know what's shitty? My mom would come home, and then when she had a shitty day tipping she would just break down and she would tell me all the people who shit on her all day like I remember this one time and it literally pissed me off like if I was there I, I don't even care if they were you know uh, something societal to where I fucking work they're pieces of shit it was these fucking six construction workers who thought oh since I'm building a road and, and fu fucking putting the building blocks why should I care about anything I'm already higher up they came in there laughed and fucking tracked dirt in shit all over the table and they reached in their pockets and fucking dropped change on the table there was six or seven people and they were there for two hours drinking coffee and eating food they spent a hundred and seventy dollars and they tipped Four pennies. Is it true that black people don't and tip? My mom, yes! Is that actually true? It is true. When I delivered pizza, really? I never got a tip from a black person. Why? And that's not, that's not I originally. don't know. Dude, let me tell you something. I delivered it very well. I, I, I rang the doorbell. I'm like, here's your delicious pizza. And they're like, thanks. Slam. That's it. Stereotype. Well, uh, that's not Stay fair. Good. I'm sure they do tip. Check your privileges. What? Check, Check your privileges. Your privileges, yes, your privileges are at a 40. Yeah, yeah the, your you privileges. were about a 20. Yeah, your privileges are pretty high right now. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, I, you know, this is completely true. Do you know why it's called a stereotype? Because they're generally true? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true. Because they say that black people are all about fried chicken. That's bullshit. Why should they get all fried chicken? <laughs> fried chicken is delicious. I've never met one person in my entire life that doesn't like no, fried chicken. No, stereotypes are twisted in turn. Then we get new stereotypes. They just evolve. They, they, they change form. Not all stereotypes. Like, there's still not fucking uh, Mama Jalama back in the past. With, there's Aunt Jemima, complete, you mean? Yeah. She's not still fucking. <laughs> she doesn't have like. He doesn't even have Aunt Jemima in Ireland. She doesn't even have cornrows and all this shit. And she's not making stuff for a wholesome farm family. All right, so we've been blatantly racist, sexist. Let's just, I'm not being racist. I'm explaining how stereotypes. Let's just take a minute. Are how they used to be. Let's just take a minute to this appreciate This is the new Mama age Jalima. modernized stereotype. Mama Jalima. <laughs> Mama Jalima. Mama Jalima makes great rice and beans. She makes pancakes, Naga. You're yeah. a Naga. I like. I don't think. Like we were being racist there. We're, we're not being like, racist. I'm like just explaining white people, stereotypes. White people. I, I was think, saying that th this isn't the 50s anymore. The only black school shooters like that I know are fucking be in white. The 50s cartoons. We have our faults. Yeah, I'm not saying like fucking white guys are the superiority, but it's just kind of like. I like how you said black people aren't how they used to be in the 50s cartoons. Like everything's all good now. <laughs> it's just white animators yeah. representing them yeah. in weird yeah, ways. Yeah, it's, not, it's not like back then. If you were watch like, like old like Popeye cartoons, how they fucking show off Asians. It's not. It's oh, not Popeye! Part of sight. Popeye was ruthless. Did you they see the way he used to? They used to draw Japanese and guys. Like, yeah. Oh, Ping Chong. And they'd Chong. actually. Oh, Chong Chong. This is Bob the American. Chong 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 Chong. And they'd make them look exactly the same. Like every one of them. They were like bug teeth and these crazy slanty so, eyes. So, you know, if, if we're talking about, like, like Those racism... Those are, like, wartime cartoons. If we're talking about racial racism, let's talk about <laughs> racism in that sense. Cartoons, if we're talking about cartoons in the past, but holy shit, man, they were diving into, like, fucking, like, like Hitler and Semitism and all this crazy shit. And it's just like, really, dude? Segregation? Is that really a topic for Mickey Mouse? I'm sure they still play Looney Tunes on TV. Um, yeah. yeah, probably on like... When I grew Boomerang. up, Bugs Bunny and uh, all those guys were still smoking Cigars cigarettes and, shit. And, and, and drinking out of bottles yeah. with three <laughs> X's and shit on them. <laughs> Did they cut all that out? Like, are kids they, not Yeah, now they drink anymore? like energy drinks and that's enough for them. Like how they like changed... Like, when a Dragon Ball character's drinking beer, clearly in the cartoon, they, like, superimpose the word root in front of beer <laughs> on the so It's like, oh, they're drinking root beer. This amber-colored root beer. <laughs> At least it's not fucking insensitive like Pokemon, where he's, like, he's clearly holding, like, a... A rice ball, and he's like, these hot dogs are delicious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
This is, I mean, like, there, there's some edits. Like, are, rice is that bad. Yeah, like, you're not it's allowed like, to eat rice. who gives a fuck? It's a, it's a sticky rice ball. You're not just going to say, like, sticky rice ball. Yo, if I was a kid and they were talking about sticky rice balls and they were enjoying them, and I'd they, be like, dude, that looks fucking delicious. Yeah, they, they did look good. But if they're holding, like, rice balls or they're making fucking dumpling soup, which is, like, some, like, you, you know, some Japanese stew, and they're like, well, that chili looks good. It's like, motherfucker, there was fish in that. Dude, I've never heard of that. And then you have rice balls over you saying that's hot dogs? Let me tell you something. I'm a kid, so I know what a fucking hot dog and pizza looks like. I had hot dogs for lunch. Yeah. Bitch. So it's like, either you're talking down to me, or you think I'm fucking blind, but either way, fuck you. Kids are little geniuses, man. Kids know what's up. It's true, kids do. When I was a kid, I could tell when I was getting talked down to, and I could tell when I was being respected. And you want to know something? When most cartoons talk down to people, they didn't do good. And the cartoons that pulled fucking levers and were like, hey, you're an adult, check this out. Yeah. Fucking did good. And it's like topics. Like, it's just like different things like that. Like, you, you know, when you're growing up with just all this shit, when you watch like these baby programs teaching you, and obviously some shows are good for like life lessons and stuff, but people no, when they're being talked down to, and they don't want to be talked down to. They want to be talked to like an adult, and yeah. kids are the same way. Kids are smarter than you give them credit for. Yeah, granted, they don't know how to change a tire and no, make but, spaghetti and shit, yeah, but, but they, they know when they're They fucking, understand human beings. Yeah, they're, they're just like everyone else. Let me tell you something. I went on a camping trip once, right? Mm -hmm. And my mom and dad pitched a tent over there, and then <laughs> I pitched a tent over, <laughs> over there. It had nothing to do with wieners yet. <laughs> but... I was laying awake in my tent, <laughs> and I heard my mom moaning, like, <laughs> and I was like, I know they're not fighting, and I know they're not wrestling. Something sexual she was doing her bear was going calls. on. She was doing her bear calls just to get rid of the bears. And I was really little, and I knew. I knew that my mom was fucking <laughs> on a camping trip under the moonlight, and she thought that I didn't know that she was fucking. I was smart. Is your mom alive? And then she moaning? came back, and she's like, and you're like, Mom, why are you screaming yesterday? She's like, I had to put a Band-Aid on. It was really, it hurt a lot. It's like, yeah, with Dad's wiener. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was true? What if what if his dad's wiener, he was just like, hold steady now. And he, he just had his wiener and the Band-Aid on top trying to stick it on. He's like, I'm, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to count to three and pull it out. One, and... Ah! <laughs> and then she came over to my tent and made me eat her butthole out. Yeah, like we like to be talked. We don't like to be talked down to. We like to be treated like adults. Yeah, even when you're a kid, you know, and you're being talked down to. Oh yeah, it's like um, you know, they had all these talkers come in, right? They're throwing confetti in your fucking face, and they're like showing off all this stuff, and you're just like, I'm. This just makes me want to do it more because you're fucking like nerds. And then you see like someone who's like, listen, I'm cool, and I went to jail and got fucked. All right, so don't do this. And you're like, oh, I don't want to get raped. Yeah, I don't that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> it's, 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 who'd, bra who'd brag about that though? Oh, you gotta do. You know, Jalen got fucked. <laughs> no, I fuck with no, me. No, he's not bragging about it. He's like, listen, all right. Every morning I woke up, and you know what they made me do? They made me put a different tattoo on my ass for when they were gonna fuck me. I was branded by six different people. That's what happened in high school, and I was like. Whoa, dude, I don't want to do that shit. That's scary. And they were just like straightforward with us. And it's like kids need that. You need to go to like kids seminars and talk to the the, the dangers of getting fucked. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, dude, adults are fucking idiots, man. Like, like they all really those, are. And it's all those people that were preaching to you in high school, they're like fucking 28. 28 year olds know nothing. Nobody knows anything. Everybody is coasting through life doing the best that they can. Nobody has anything figured out and it's it's 100 percent. most true. people plateau yeah. at like 17 years of age mentally yeah their brain stops advancing they I, learn little things here and there but that's pretty much where they stop even though i'm like a 24 year old i feel like a fucking like 10 year old like you get you get to a certain age where like you you go out and then you see some old man just do something stupid and you're like Age really has nothing to do no. with the fact that you just dropped milk on the ground and walked away and, and acted like a fucking child and <laughs> pretended you didn't do it. Yeah, no, it's it's completely true. It's I've always felt like, and it's true when they say like age is just a number, not in a sense where it's like, oh, oh I didn't, listen, I, age is just a number. I, I thought she was legal. It's like, no, in a sense where it's like age is just a number where adults are just young kids. And we were talking about a situation like, you know when your your family's going through something and they have to make decisions and you're just like I can't believe my fucking parents did that and then when you get older you completely realize you're like wait a second 
Now I understand why my fucking parents did that. They didn't have any goddamn money and they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Yeah. Wow, I'm in the same fucking boat. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, is she so had a, weird. We actually had a debate here the other day where I was saying I wouldn't, like, I'm probably, I, uh, now I know I'm in the minority, but I thought, I, I said I would never hit my kids if I had kids. But everyone else in this office said that they would. Oh, I would, I would. Well, when I go to the grocery store, is, is I see some fucking 12-year-old kid slam candy bars on the table, and he's like, buy this for me, bitch. <laughs> and he's talking to his mom. You better snatch him up and whip him in the face. You can't talk to people like I'm not, that. I'm not going to fucking hit him, but I'll tell him how to, how, like, how the world works. I need to, like, I, I tell him give what him works. You need to, you need to grab my little, little shirt and pop him in the mouth. <laughs> don't punch him in the face. Give him a little open-handed slap and be like, you don't talk to people like that. You know what's going to happen? He's going to get to 20 years of age. And he's gonna be at his first job. And then he's gonna about, hit his kids. You gotta talk to me like that, bitch. Talking to his boss, and his boss is gonna fire him. That's wake up. You give him a real world. lesson. So you go like this. You'd be like, hey, guess what? You won't have it. Okay, if you keep talking like that. That's why you're such a failure, Niall, because you were never hit when you were a kid. You need nah, to be hit more. Nah, you're too nice. Yeah, you're too nice. <laughs> you're too nice. Because you know what they did? They just grazed the tip of your butt. They didn't actually inject it. But I did, wait, they what? put a little gold star on your anus <laughs> and said, <laughs> Good job, Niall. It's positive reinforcement though, I'm instead of negative you. reinforcement. You know what my positive reinforcement was? What? My dad punched me in the ass repeatedly with his bare fist and he was a bodybuilder, so watch out. My dad <laughs> fucked you in the ass. That he was punched fist, me. Dude. Yeah, but he didn't ask you to spread your cheeks. <laughs> I, f I thought it like you know dense wind resistance. It would cause like, if I well, you're far <laughs> Yeah, if I fart it would slow the fist down. <laughs> <laughs> aerodynamic goes down. Yeah, yeah it's dude. like it's like your you dad's know, like, no <laughs> <laughs> It's like with plates. It's like with plates. <laughs> It's like the plates open up the sides. It's like so the wind passes over. You know, if, there's, if, if, it, you're, if you're taking a flight and it takes longer to get there because of the wind, it's, it's the same. No, it's, it's realistically. Method. Kids, if you're about to get beat in the ass, fart really hard. It'll stop the resistance to the hand. It happens all the time. I, I think it's more that it'll stop it because your dad will be like, ew, gross. Or yeah. fart in rhythm so your parents fart <laughs> along with you or laugh along with you. Some dad is some dad is going to take his belt off, start whipping his son's ass, and his son is going to fart, and then his dad is going to beat his ass harder for farting and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, <laughs> He's like, don't fart on me! Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Beat the shit out of him! Do you know what Zach did earlier? What? He, he, Zach was like napping on the chair, like over there, and he, he, he opened his eyes, stood up, walked over and farted on me, and went back and slept again. <laughs> That's is the that, fucking amount of respect they get in this office. Let me tell true? you something. Is that, is that, that is truth. That Niall, is the actual truth. Now let me tell you something. Now is so. I tired. saw you. I saw you. What you were doing. What was I doing? You were making faces. You were going to Zach the whole time, and his eyes was open slightly. He took the opportunity. I was doing my facial muscle exercises. I wasn't doing. You didn't tell Zach that. He knows about. He that. took it as a threat. All right. Is it in a world of monkeys? If you go up to a monkey and you do this. They're gonna fucking rip your face off. It's the same thing here. It's gonna fart on you. It's the human equivalent. It's a boy meets boy world. <laughs> what? Maybe for you. Boy meets boy world. What the hell boy. are you talking about? Yeah, I, don't, I think you mean do he, I think he means dog eat dog world. No, boy meets uh, world. But he's, but he's thinking of boy meets world, the, the TV show. Boy meets world. So, so he kind of got mixed up. Starring Corey. <laughs> Your brain is a fascinating place, Corey. <laughs> yeah, Corey, I'd love to live in there for a day. I don't know if I'd love to or if I, it would be like hell. It'd I, I make you too horny and you get confused and have to leave early. No, I'm a pervert. I could take that. Oh. You don't even know. I, I bet I bet I'm more perverted than you. You wanna have you a draw you, you draw wanna point. have a pervert off? Fair enough. I'll fucking ruin you. Let's have a pervert I don't think off. So. I don't think so. Go. I know your boundaries. You don't know my boundaries. I you know you do not know my boundaries. What about farting on you? Farting? Yeah. Was that was was this vanilla? What is this fucking what is this vanilla hour? Oh, no, no, a girl sitting on your what, face uh, what is this and farting and saying hour? sniff my ass. Is this vanilla hour? What, what about that? Come on, give yeah, me you something like that. A girl just goes sniff it and you have to go. <laughs> yes, I do that for free. She didn't even have to ask, yeah, son. Would you do? No, 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 no. The, the sniffing's okay, no. but if the girl's like farts no, and then she goes farts? sniff it. Mm -hmm. Are we in a daycare? Come on. Beans, beans, the magical oh, fruit. Oh, I so learned that in preschool. Oh, you're saying this is baby talk? This is baby talk. Oh, what's it? Scat. 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 Is that the worst you got? That, that was vomiting a scat. Dude, that's that's like that's like niche topics. That's like that's like babies in Germany are like. Oh, so oh, you so you, talk so you have about like subgenres of scat, like scat with corn in it or. Scat. Oh, you don't know. The, you just say scat. You don't know the types of scat. Fuck you. Well, okay, tell me some types of scat and uh, like and uh, educate me. Pooping, using it as as weapons. <laughs> that's not corn. <laughs> that's not corn. That's just funny. 
You don't know. I, I know. I know about. I know about scat. Swallowing lots of toxic waste and tossing each other's face and see whose melts off first. Go. Stamper, when you're eating out a girl's butt, if it smells a little bit like poop, do you like that? Just, just a little bit. Just, just a whiff. Well, it's a butt. Yeah, no, but if you just get a whiff and it smells a little bit kind of funky, you're kind a of like... A butt gonna smell no matter yeah, what. it's a butt. You're just like, yeah, it's If you dab it with coconut oil and the butthole opens, there's still shit and what stuff if you inside your butt. <laughs> what if that you, doesn't change. What if you... <laughs> if you dab it with coconut oil. What if you finger her butt, but it's fine. You take out your, uh, you take your finger out and then you put your hand on her ass to fuck her again. And then you take your hand off and there's just a little bit of yellow. Just Question. a tiny bit of yellow. Question. This is why our <laughs> fan base is primarily male. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Because this whole opening was fuck women, and now there's yellow shit on my finger because I was no, just, just a girl. little faint bit of yellow. Like you leave it there, would you go, Ugh, or would you just kind of like put it in your mouth? You live in the moment of sexual intercourse. Nile. Yeah. Dogs are related to us. Dogs sniff butts. I rest my case. What? <laughs> <laughs> How are dogs related to us? They're fucking. They're mammals. They yeah. have pussies. They have danguses. They're dogs. They breathe, eat, fart. Do I have to go on? The fucking hippos are related to us. I don't fucking like bathe in the like fucking water and stick my head out and ram people. Most things How often do you get to run into a hippo's pussy? Never, but exactly. What, what does a hippo's pussy look like? Have you ever been to a zoo? <laughs> Leave a picture of a hippo's co pussy in the comments below. <laughs> Leave a picture of a hippo's pussy in the comments below. I would like to see what it looks like. Thanks. I'm actually intrigued now. Do you oh, remember? Do you remember that ep that movie, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective? Oh yeah. Oh, just ask your mom. <laughs> okay, wait. That was too far. First of all, that was that, that was it was about. Do you, do you 10 remember seconds. that? Do you remember the part where that you, was true? That, he gives that was birth a, to a hippo. That was a rhino. If I don't, if I don't. It was uh, a rhino. It was yeah. a rhino. <laughs> and he was like in this weird brown liquid, and he's like, and he goes, ah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was pretty funny. Fun. What I don't understand. Was hilarious. What I don't understand is how the guy was like, "Look, son, he's giving birth," and it's clearly a fucking guy's like finger. And shit, like, wouldn't you understand? Wouldn't you be like, this is a, this is a guy hand? Would you be like, oh, it's, just, it's one of those malformed, like, rhino guys that you see every now and then? It, but it was so obviously not a real hippo, too. The character in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was he a rhino with purple hair? Yeah, the uh, rock steady. Did he have purple hair? I don't know anything about Teenage Mutant Turtles. You need to get educated, my friend. Teenage I didn't grow Mutant up with Turtles. It. Do I know something? Yeah. I tried watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and there's this one scene where these kids were tied to a bed in the basement of, like, the sewers or whatever, and he's like, Y'all are gonna tell me where the turtles are. And he took out a feather, and they're like, what are you gonna do with that? And he started, oh, tick tickles him. He started tickling their feet. Get... I, so many weird stuff, stuff made me horny when I was a kid. I swear to God that made me horny when I was a kid. Dude, that just confused me and, and, and irritated me. Weird Because I was like, wow, this is taking my core spot with the cartoon I wanted to watch. Like, I, I was set to be the biggest pervert ever, because when I was a kid, you know, Nile, you know, the, you know the movie? Now, biggest pervert ever? Yeah. I like to see that. You One know of those headlines. You know the movie. Al you know the movie Aladdin. Yeah. You know the part where Jafar like controls them and makes them do what he wants. Yeah. That con that made me really horny when I was a kid. And I was so confused. I don't know why. I was like, he could like make her do anything. I, I don't know. It was just really. Nah, weird. you overthink Disney movies when you watch. Them. I I don't know. I was just a kid and that made me horny. I have no <laughs> idea why. I was literally uh, about seven years old. Jasmine made me horny, but you know. Jasmine made me horny. You see Robin Hood. She still makes me the horny. The Disney Robin Hood. Yeah. yeah. You know Maid Marian, the fox? Yeah. She made me super horny when I was a kid. Dude, yeah. she made me horny too, and she's like kissing the, the bunny boy, and I'm like, yeah. why does that little faggot get, get all the attention? He sucks. Yeah, like, I know. Lola Bunny in Space Jam? Horny as fuck. Yeah. And the people are like, oh, it's so Ron Lights. Like, shut up, faggot. You liked it too. Fuck you. Yeah. This one time I walked in on my dad when he was pooping. Horny as fuck. This one Wait, time you got horny or was your dad horny while he was pooping? This I was. This I was one horny. time I walked, both of you? I walked in my dad's room. And he had coconut oil all over the back. What is with you and coconut oil? It's the only lubricant I've ever been exposed to. Was it besides Fire Boy and Coconut Girl? Coconut oil is amazing. You could cook with it. You could use it as a massage oil. And you can put it, stuff in your ass using it. It smells great. Uh, not after you take it out of your ass, but it smells great. And you know what the thing is? I hate coconut. I hate the Me taste too. of it. I fuck. You know, this is the thing. I'm going to ruin this for everybody because I don't care because I don't like coconuts. Spoiler alert. I'm going to ruin on coconuts for you forever. So get ready. Coconuts taste like soft fingernails in your mouth. That's what coconut tastes That's like. That's shredded those coconut. Little white co yeah, those little white coconut, yeah. they taste taste like soft fingernails. 
Take a bite of your finger. I don't even give a shit if you don't chew them. Take one bite of them and fucking taste that texture and then put a coconut in your mouth after taking a shower and fucking tell me that that doesn't taste That's shredded like coconut, nail. though. Shredded it's, coconut. Well, it's that, but... That's the most common coconut I don't like you the, run into. I don't like the taste of coconut. It, it tastes... It Coconutty. Doesn't, it doesn't have a taste. It's bad. weird. I mean, coconut's good mixed in with certain things, but it's it's that nutty fucking nutter bar coconut stuff that comes off in shavings. Coconut water is puke worthy. It's disgusting. If you were on a on a, on a strand strand on a desert island, all there was was chocolate, wine, or coconuts. What would you want? Uh, coconuts. <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do with wine? Yeah. And I don't really care for chocolate. Coconuts, I think, can do good for the thirst, too. What do you mean, what could you not do with wine? Wine, like, never goes bad. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Sit on a desert island, drink wine all day, and get fucked up and sick? Yeah, what else are you gonna fucking do? Drink Dehydrated, angry, wake up with a hangover and die <laughs> in two days? You have a you have a, a thing of water. You have a, a spring of clear water. Oh, now I can just add things to no, this No, you fantasy? had this. You just had to dig through the woods a little bit. Like Swiss to, family Robinson, but I have wine too. All right, this is. The, I'm just writing how you know I want a fantasy. Is it game. unlimited wine and unlimited coconut? Don't you hate that when people set up fantasies and then they put you in a situation where a fantasy like won't go through and then they're like, no, but there's so and so here, so now you have to choose the other one. You just did like, that though. I know. I was creating an example for a new topic. Ah, uh, I, I see, see what it. you did there. It's like those. It, they create like. A, a, a false sense of like securement and you it's almost like a thing where it's like no you never know what they they want from you it's like all right so here's a scenario you're in a warehouse and there's only one door in the warehouse and you have to escape the warehouse and all you have is a wrench and you're like I use the okay window. so I use the door and they're like uh no the door is locked and it's like, uh, okay, so I used a wrench and hit the lock on the door. And they're like, no, you can't do that because there's no wrench. And it's like, what do you want from me, dude? <laughs> it's like, do you, it's like, okay, so uh, I guess I die in the warehouse. And it's like, yeah, exactly, you fucking idiot. Exactly, you fucking faggot, <laughs> yeah. Go die in the warehouse. And like, they feel like they're the fucking kings after the setting. They, they killed you. They outsmarted you. That's you, a, you were that's no match the for things, them. That's a lot of those things where it's like it plays into what you want to hear. Like, it's like, oh, it's great. You'll have... Nobody's ever happy. They're like, oh... Oh, you used the wrench and got out of the warehouse. Good. It's Good like, for oh, you, dude. You were creative. Yeah, yeah, no, no one ever, like, you successfully escaped. None of those, yeah, those scenarios never work out. Wow. What do, you, what do you want to talk about? That just happened. Dude, we had we had a, we had we, were flowing and we, we had stopped. an avid discussion about what you put in your ass and how kids are smart. I don't think this is a bad podcast, actually. Oh, it's pretty good. Hey, when you were a kid, mm -hmm. um, wait, let's talk about the things that happened when we were kids. All right, let's talk about things that happened when you were a kid. That's an endless supply of stories. Sure. No, uh, let's uh, touch on the topic. Yeah. Okay. Since we were on the topic about kids at one point, when you were a kid, there's a certain thing your mom would always bring home that you would fucking lose your mind to. It was like the greatest thing your mom bought. And it was one of the, it, it, do you have one of those fond things? For me, my mom would always bring me one of those big Slim Jim things when I was a kid. Yeah. She would always bring them home whenever she went out. And like a little mom, gift to you. Yeah, when my mom went shopping, I'd be like, Slim Jim's when she gets back. And then I'd come up to her and I'd be like, and then she put out her hand. She'd be like, "How'd you know?" And I'd be like, "It's like it's like a, a fucking cat and a bell. It's like it knows it's gonna get something after a while. So it's just like, oh, I'm gonna get a slim jump. It's something. called Pavlov's dog. That there's an actual term for that. Did your mom ever wrong? Do that? that was kindness from mom. I have a, a similar one too. When I was a kid, I was hooked on this movie called um, Universal Soldier. It was my favorite movie because I loved all the violence and I think there was a titty in there. But when I was a kid, it was like the coolest movie in the world and. And this is back when you used to rent VHS tapes from uh, movie rental stores. I don't even know if they fucking exist anymore. Can you rent movies now? I, I think without fucking Netflix and shit. I, I think they're honestly used. Does the blockbuster they're, in they're Alaska? They're used as places in the back to sell drugs now. I think. Anyways, my parents would go to the video store, and every time they went to the video store, they were like, is there a movie that you want to see? And I'm like, yeah, get Universal Soldier. I want to see it again. And they did that for me, like, my mom did that for me, like, nine times. And then she went to the movie store again, and she was like, is there any, anything you want to see? And I was like, yeah, can you get Universal Soldier? And she was like, no, I'm not renting this movie for you ever again. And I felt really bummed out. 
And then when she got back, she gave me Universal Soldier. And she went out and bought me a copy. The That's awesome. actual movie. It was the best gift that I ever got. I was like, oh my God. I watched that VHS tape so many times I destroyed it. Like I destroyed the tape on the inside. It didn't work anymore. Oh, do you still like it? Yeah. I was like, I'll watch Universal Soldier right now. It's just a it's, I mean, it's not a phenomenal movie, but it's just like a movie that kind of... I was the same way with Mummy. I watched Mummy so much, and... I did too. I've seen that movie like I, a million I, times. It was just one of those movies that you could finish and be like... Yeah, I could quote that. All right, let's, let's restart it, and then you'd start watching it all over again, because it was... The pacing was just, like, it was good. Like, when they finally got into the fucking it was like, a pyramid, fun movie. it was just, like, it was great. I agree. <laughs> Niall, you didn't say if there was anything you got when you were a kid. Like, anything your mom, when she went out, she would get you a specific thing. Not particularly, actually. I used to get stuff from my mom, too. It was always nice. Her face would light up. I remember my mom used to work at a funeral home. So we used to bring her bags of peach Jolly Ranchers, because those were her favorite. Yeah. They used to, like, segregate the flavors of the Jolly Ranchers in the bags. I don't know if they still do that. But peach Jolly Ranchers were awesome. They were just, like, these light, you know... Peach flavored Jolly Ranchers. The pink ones? Yeah, and then I'd bring them to my mom at the funeral home and I'd look at dead bodies and be freaked out. <laughs> Did you poke them and watch their heads cave in? No, I remember walking up to, because this is in a really small Midwestern town. In, in the back of my mind, I remember walking up to a, because uh, it wasn't very professional because there wasn't many people. So when people died, they just put them in coffins and just kind of wheel them over to the corner of the building. Uh -huh. And so you could just walk up and look. And I remember seeing this guy with just a big smile on his face. He had these big ass ears and he was just smiling really big. He was dead. I guess I was like, wow, death is death isn't that bad. That guy looks really happy. And later on, I just found out it was rigor mortis and his face just like tightened up. <laughs> So he wasn't really that thrilled to be dead, but... I, it's funny, too, with the whole concept of when you when you get something, and then when your parents get older, like, as yo, you... Yo, yo, Niall's in the fucking bathroom. That guy's a fucking faggot. He needs to be kicked off this fucking podcast, because I'm tired of all his fucking bullshit opinions. He needs to go the fuck back to Ireland, where he belongs, with his people, quote, unquote. I really like, called, like... Someone from Ireland. I, I know someone on the inside because I know Chris. Like, Chris gives me connections. The Irish connection? They're gonna come and fucking get yeah. Niall and just but, bring him back home? That's completely unreasonable. No, it's real. Realistically, I thought about this. Okay, fine. Just... He just needs to be out of here. <laughs> he just needs to go away. What were you saying, Corey? I was talking about, like, when you were younger. Whenever, like, you got older, your mom, like, she would, uh, spend money. So after a while, like, uh, oh, here's a re realistic question. Did you get allowance? No, never. You didn't get allowance. Never. Did you get allowance? I've never gotten allowance. Oh, man. You know what I got each week? What? From my mom? What? Out of the kindness of her heart? I got what? chores and a speech about how I was lucky to be living there. <laughs> yeah, i pretty much the same. I got Dude, my parents were fucking... When I was old enough to even understand what allowance was, my parents were like 30. They were like our age. I know. I wouldn't give anybody fucking any of my money right now. I am so broke right now. I know. I some shitty ass I kids. Know. No, my mom would give me 20 bucks. Yeah, oh, so wait, was that supposed to be a lot or like... 20 bucks a week in like the fucking 90s? Yeah. 2000s start ish. Dude, if I got 20 Dude. bucks a week back then, and it, it was fucked up because they would just spend it on candy and useless shit when you're a kid. Like you just like, I'm gonna get Jolly Ranchers, I'm gonna get Skittles, I'm gonna get M Ms. I'm gonna go to the arcade and play for five days straight, and then you blow twenty dollars in yeah. like uh, and then, 28 minutes. Exactly. My mom was like, she also like never punished me like when I was a kid. But the thing is, like because she was like that, I had a lot of respect for her. Because she was considered. That's what I'm saying. I didn't. I never like, got hit by my. I parents, don't understand but. how people like have these like really shitty kids who are like, "Fuck you, you're a horrible parent." You Is there power in that. Yeah. People are like, you know, like, "Fuck you, bitch, give me that candy." <laughs> my mom was like, she's ne she never did anything to me. I don't think my mom's ever hit me in my entire life. My mom, I got hit with a wooden spoon once, but I remember. I that. was. Uh, my mom kicks ass. I love my mom. Yeah, my I mom too. is the shit. Son. My mom. She never did anything, and it's like. I was spoiled to hell and back, but because of that, like, I, I, I respected my mom. One of my earliest memories that I remember was sitting on the floor of, of the shower 
and I was looking up at my mom, and she was washing her hair, and she was completely naked because we were just showering. In yeah, the same yeah. Thing. They always go like, "Oh, they'll never remember this," but everyone remembers it. I remember that shit. Everyone I remember, remember it too. It. My mom used to come into the bathroom and like use the toilet while I was taking a shower and shit. Yeah, and you hear. <laughs> She just talked to me about things, and I would just be like, Ma, you forgot my purple dinosaur. And then she would, like, say all this stuff to me. That's families, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, it, I'm pretty sure everyone's experienced that. It's not like you're going to be weird, like, oh, you saw your mom naked? It's like, dude, you were naked for 90% of your time when you were around your mom. Why does it fucking matter? Everybody's fucking weird Your mom about wiped that. your ass. It's, only when, you're, it's, it's only when you're older it might be kind of considered a little weird. These are all these people that are, yeah, okay, I've seen my mom naked, I've seen my sister naked, I've seen my brother I've naked, seen I've seen my naked. dad naked, I've seen half my roommates yeah, naked. I've seen... I've I've, I've I'm not one of those seen. faggots that runs around like, oh, uh, masturbate? Oh, of course not. I don't masturbate. That's gross. That's just disgusting. That's you disgust me, sir. That's bullshit. Like, literally? Just be honest. Human beings are disgusting creatures. Just get it out of the way. We're this fucking is... animals. We just do no, what that's animals exactly do. It. We have and I do feel like I do feel like some people are just more vocal about it. It's like some people are people are perverted, but just some are more vocal and some are more able to talk Some are more comfortable about top, talking about certain topics. I got nothing to lose. What is somebody gonna make fun of me? Yeah, you'll oh. get, you'll get They'd be like, hey, did you hear? Stamper likes guys. Oh, shit. Hey, did you hear? Stamper saw his mom naked once. Oh! <laughs> my like, son! Like, Spassky is a faggot. He put stuff in his butt. It's like, yeah, all right. Ouch. Sorry, I keep rubbing my titty. Stuff, it's like still shaped in your bruises. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It really doesn't bother me. At one point, I remember when I was on the internet and someone was like, you're gay. And I'm like, you can't say that. My mom says you can't say that stuff. And I'm like, you're a oh, jerk. I remember in like, you're, and he's like, and then he's like, yeah, well, you're a faggot. And I'm like, that's not fair. I remember, I remember in like the third grade, I was like, uh, I, I, I go to my friends after school. I was like, fuck that. And then they were like, whoa! Like, do you, do you, do you swear? And I was like, <laughs> yep. I swear. I used to say, I used to be a kid, I was like, are you freaking kidding me or crap? And then one day I was around like older kids who were just like, man, check this fucking Ollie out. And I'm like, dude, you see that shit? Shit was awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. And then they were like clapping and showing, hey, dude, check it out. And then they like show me and stuff. And then I went home and I'm like, mom, this kid just did a fucking Ollie. And she just turned around completely flabbergasted. But then it's like weird because it's like, she's like, don't curse. And then I would go to my dad's house and he would just be screaming at the, the fucking football game. And he'd be like, you fucking idiot, fumbling the ball, you moron. And then I'd just be sitting there. He'd be like, and I'd be like, if I said something, I'm like, dad, why can't I say fuck? And he would like turn around and try and throw an object at me. And then I'd be like, what? And I still like, to this day don't curse. That? I don't curse in front of my parents. I, you know, here's the thing. I, I don't recommend it, but there comes to a point where you're almost... No, a lot of my friends are like, Mom, fuck off. You're, you're like, okay, son. You're but incapable I'm of controlling yourself. I'm incapable of controlling yeah. yourself. And I, I went oh. to my mom, and I'm around my mom, and I'm talking about stuff, and I'm like, that's fucking dumb as shit. And she'll, like, start laughing and stuff. And I'm like, why are you laughing? And she's like, because you're fucking cursing like a sailor. And I'm like, you just said fuck. She's like, I fucking curse because I'm old. Because I'm, I'm like, a human. I'm like, fuck you, I'm 24. And then she'll, like, lose the her thing shit. Is, she's yeah, like, like, ah, it's, 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 it's about showing respect to people that you you would think like exactly wouldn't wouldn't prefer to hear that kind of language. My parents would not prefer I'm, to hear those. My mom, and that's fine. Yeah, but my I my stepdad doesn't want to. When hear I was me living there, it. when I was living there, I had like no, I I was a master at it. For, when I talked to my friends, I I I, I curse so much. I but curse when a your lot. parents came but around, when my parents were around, I could somehow just filter that. I was but now like when I'm on too. Skype to them because they're back in Ireland. Uh, like yeah. the other day, I was like, that's fucking shit. And then I was like, and they were like, and then my mom right? was like, yeah, it is. And I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. it's different. Like my mom definitely she treats me like an adult because she realizes that I'm going through adult things, I guess. But little does she know. Yeah, little does she know that I'm just going out buying candy and having a heyday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sweet dude, I got a dollar fifty. That's an M and M. No, that's a fucking. That's that, some laffy taffies, dude. and I'm gonna. Dude, that is fucking gummy bears. I'm gonna binge drink the whole week. Oh, that's two ten actually in Wawa. With a dollar fifty, you're not gonna get very far. No, I'm gonna like steal drinks from binges. Oh, Don't. sweet dude. <laughs> Wait, what was that delicious meal you said you could get for a dollar fifty recently? You go to McDonald's and you get a McDouble and you dress it up like a Big Mac. Oh, uh, you. Snapper knows all the tricks of the trade. Yeah. I worked at McDonald's, I didn't know that you shit. You get a fucking. Just get a burger, it's even cheaper. Have it your way, son. Go get the cheapest shit and be like, hey, can you put lettuce on that? And tomatoes. 
yeah, and secret yeah. sauce and and an extra patty please and an extra yeah actually and, extra buns for that extra patty please an extra food you have laying cheese. around just to throw that around this slice of cheese they always charge for cheese but nobody gives a shit about lettuce nobody cares like when you get charged for cheese no one's like oh you're gonna put cheese on it unless they're like lactose intolerant which that's why they ask do you want cheese on it Dude, cheese makes the damn burger shit. but it's like I hate I, that's something I hate when I'm like ordering a fucking Big Mac and it's like do you want cheese on it and it's like fucking obviously but it's like oh people people have like or you can go buy one problems. of those one dollar cheeseburgers and you buy one of those one dollar side salads and then you break apart the salad and put all the salad on your cheeseburger because all it is is lettuce and tomato and stuff and then you have an ultimate cheeseburger that you didn't pay six dollars for holy goddamn smokes you just mm -hmm. have to open it appropriately stamper mm -hmm. you, you, you are been, my you, lantern you, you, you lived yeah, I've been homeless. I know how to I've stretch been my food budget. I've been homeless. Wait, yeah. Yeah, being homeless sucks. Sure does. Uh, what, like, I, I know a few McDonald's tips. Like, if you want to get freshly made stuff, just ask for, like, no tomatoes or something. They have to make it fresh. Like, yeah, say you're allergic. Yeah, say you're allergic, they'll have to fucking go into another room and make it. Actually, you, that's not true, but they should. Do you remember when you used to buy clothes at, like, stores and stuff, and you only got, like, branded stuff? Like, you would go into malls, and you'd be like... Mom, I have to go to the skate shop because I have to get the newest, coolest brands of skateboard stuff because I gotta be a poser. Yeah. And I was like, okay. But now it's just kind of like, you think about it, I still wear, like, I have, like, some fucking skate shoes on. That skate are still... shoes are the most comfortable shoes. Yeah, I, don't I care know. What people say but they they're bar laced to hell and back and shit. Yeah. So yeah. it's just like, I'll never grow out of that style. I'm gonna be a fucking 80 year old man wearing bar laced skateboard shoes. And someone's gonna be like, you look too old for that. I'd be like, Fuck you, dude. They're comfortable. Skate shoes. Fuck are... you, you non-geriatric <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Actual quote from Corey's past kid. That's that's the joke. We think... shouldn't have ate so many wings and got so wasted before we did this podcast. Thanks for tuning in to Sleepy Cast. Uh, I'm Stamper TV. Thanks for tuning in. All right, Corey. Let's do this together. Um, one, two, three. Hey gang, thanks for tuning in to Sleepycast. Make sure to check out the Patreon account. And also we have Twitter and Facebook because you have to follow us if you want updates. And the Patreon. On the Patreon. That was the Drunken Idiocy Hour. Join us next time on Sleepycast. If I could fuck my own mouth, you'd never hear me speak again. Goodbye.